I'm an ensemble member of a company in Chicago called Looking Glass Theater Company that the Actors Theater audience might ha uh, have some experience with it. We brought a production that we originated with our company called Looking Glass Alice. And for those audience members that saw that production, they know that the aesthetic is very visual and very physical and has a real strong sense of, of, of playfulness and explosion and joy. And that, at essence, I definitely applied to m my adaptation of The Adventures of Tom Sawyer. One of the dynamics that uh, Laura, I think, found so beautifully in this adaptation is um, the capturing that, that sense of playfulness um, and that um, in a generation of people who spend their time kind of looking down at their iPhones and everything, so we sort of all walk around like this, um, actually this adaptation is kind of about lifting people back up and re-engaging and reconnecting with each other. Well, one of the things that was most gratifying in the responses we got from when we originally did The Adventures of Tom Sawyer at Hartford Stage was we had such a wide range of audience members who responded really strongly to the show. We had ten, you know, 10, 11, 12 year olds that were coming and maybe had read a sort of a youth version of the novel or had maybe read the novel with, with a parent who or, or you know, kids who hadn't experienced it before that were really taken by the sense of play and adventure. They really saw themselves in the story, which was super gratifying. But th the thing that I didn't expect that was equally satisfying to me was the older members of the audience that came and said, I felt like I was taken back. I felt like it was a time capsule back to my childhood. And I felt that excitement and that joy and that unbridled enthusiasm and curiosity in the world that I haven't felt in a long time. It is our intention to surprise and delight you every step of the way. Um, there is a, a, a sense of realness about this story that I think Laura has woven through this text in such an incredible way. And the number of people that have emailed and called over the last year since we first created the production just to talk about all of the parts of the story that they never envisioned in that way that was so delightful as a kid to read you know for the first time but to, that it's a text that that is so funny and so sharp and incisive that in in this sort of economic and political culture and social culture how do we re revisit something and make it new again and that really it's laura's words that have done it um, and it's going to be this explosive cast uh, that takes over the stage that will bring it to life